Hi everyone, uh, we're back here, a bit later in the afternoon today. Just going to have a quick rundown of uh, one of the new features that we've got in the uh, TDS, or one that we haven't spoken about before, and that's transform settings. Transform settings are basically um, a specific variable that you can have per transform. Uh, you can set it to either be a pop-up within the client, so one where if the person were to run your transform, they'd be asked a specific question, and they'd be able to fill that in, and your transform would then be able to use that. This is useful for things that change you know, semi-regularly, and you don't want to hard-code them in, or have multiple transforms that do the same thing, but just have a different variable. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using a transform that we've that we've done before, uh, one that we've put that's actually available on the forum. It's a local transform. It's uh, the nmap transform. Basically, I've just taken the the nmap transform that works with a net block, takes a net block, does an nmap port scan, um, and then returns the IP addresses, and within each IP address is an additional field that'll specify which ports will open on that IP address. Obviously, uh, in this example you'd want, we've set it up so that you can specify the ports. So for example, you can scan, you know, if you want to do port 21 or if you want to do 22, you know, you can change it for, for every case. So I'll show you here, once, once you've logged into the TDS, uh, you can basically set up a setting within the transform settings uh, view. Here you can see I've added one. Uh, I've called it ports. That's the actual variable name that will be used. Uh, it has a display value of ports to scan. There's a default value. I've set it to pop up. Uh, and it's a string. Uh, you don't need to worry about these things. Basically, it's just a, a little wizard. You can click Add Transform Setting, and then you'll be able to get to all of that. Okay, so then uh, once you've created the transform, I'm not going to get into it. We've we've we have done it before, uh, but here you'll see I've I've created one called Port Scan. Uh, you know, it's running, it's running on my server. But basically, then I've I've set the transform settings that should be used. I've set this ports. So that'll be available with this transform once you discover. Okay, so then all that's left is that you discover it within the clients through your seeds. Uh, as I said before, seeds are the, the containers for, for your transforms. So I'm just going to copy our nmap seed here. Uh, it's called scan this today. I'm just going to do discover transforms. You can see here I've added already. I'll just delete it again. There we go. nmap seed. There's my URL. Add it in and just next, next through the wizard. Okay, you'll see here we've actually got uh, two two transforms. One is going to do the port scan. As I said, it's going to ask you which port you'd like to scan. And then I've got another one that's just called two ports, which is basically going to take each IP address that's returned uh, with that additional field specifying which ports are open, and it's going to take those two to the ports. Uh, so you'll be able to easily see which IP addresses are open on which ports. Just going to say next, and there we have it. Uh, so of course this transform does run on a on a net block. So we're just going to get one out from a domain. Um, in this case, I'm going to use cia.gov. I'm going to do. I'm going to look up their MX records. See here, they've got two MX records. I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to say, can I have the IP address? Okay, there's the IP address. And now I'm going to ask for the net block. I'm going to use natural boundaries. Um, within the settings for this particular transform, I've also said it's a pop up so that you can see what it's like and how easy it is to use. So here I can see it's just going to ask me the block size. In this case, we are going to use a, a class C, but of course, we could change it to, to whatever we want. So now we're just going to get a class C back from them. Okay, now we're going to run our transform, which is obviously called port scan. Uh, and it's going to say, what ports would you like to scan? I'm going to say 443 and 80. So I'm just going to be scanning their web servers uh, within this particular block. And remember, for each, for each IP address found with these ports, it's going to return an IP address with an additional field of these ports. Okay, so here it's running against my server now. It's currently scanning that and uh, these will come back there we go we've got these IP addresses you can see within the properties of each each individual IP address you now see that there's an open ports category so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take each of these IP addresses and I'm going to take them to ports so I'm going to I'm going to actually pull these ports out of it um, so that we can easily distinguish which ones have what open see here it runs 
And then they come back. Of course, we've only scanned for two ports, so we're likely to only only find these two. You can see it's just determined which ones are are with which. Um, you can see that almost all the IP addresses. So if I select say 443 and uh, go up, you can see that all of these IP addresses that were on 443 uh, also are on port 80. However, this IP address alone is not on not on port 80. Uh, so then, of course, you could take this further by saying taking all these IP addresses and uh, looking for the DNS names. And then, of course, those would those would return. But this is just an example of how you can implement something uh, using the transform settings. Uh, I just want to show you quickly how easy it is in code. Um, so here are my two transforms. I'm just going to look at the the two ports transform. You can see, I mean, it's it's really easy. All I've done is I've said, okay, uh, let me get the ports out. I'm going to split on on the comma if there is one, and I'm just going to create a new port entity that that is returned for each one. And as I said, these are obviously their additional their additional properties. So you can see, there's the open ports. So yeah, thanks very much. Um, that was just a quick overview of how how the transform settings work. Thanks.